welcome back to another video today i thought i'd do a bit of an unboxing video because i did go a little bit mad with the premier gel sale a few bits that i needed some boring stuff just like some basic colors but then i thought i would go and get some new colors and i need to swatch them so i thought i'd bring you guys along and show you what i got now I did actually make two orders over the weekend. I made one with Kiki London and one with Premier Gel. Both of these brands are really good for beginners. Kiki London is the brand that I first started off using. Their stuff is so reasonably priced. I didn't order too much from there. There was just some cute coil that I wanted to, that I needed to stock up on. And I thought I have seen theirs on uh, Instagram and I wanted to give it a go because it looks really nice. So yeah, I ordered some cuticle oil and I ordered a gel colour that I saw and I couldn't resist. <laughs> right, so this one is the cuticle oil that I mentioned. It comes in quite a big bottle actually. It's a 20ml one. The one that I've normally got is... It's only a 7ml, so it's a lot bigger. Uh, they do these in different scents and I can't remember what the other ones are but I got mine in Sweet Peach. So that's the first thing I got from Kiki. I'll show you a close up in a little while at, once I swatch my colours later. So the other one, the other colour that I ordered from Kiki, I feel as though, you know when you buy like the exact same colour over and over again? Because you see it and you're like, oh, I really wanted one of them. And then you just, every time you see it in just a slightly different glitter or shade, I'm like, oh, I'm going to get it. <laughs> so I probably have way too many of these. Um, but this one is Kiki London in the shade Rose Gold. And I love these bottles because they're so big. And this one is quite like a fine glitter. And that looks incredible. So I'm going to swatch that in a little while for you so those were the two bits that i picked up from kiki now this one i went a little bit mad on <laughs> uh, premier gel had a massive sale over the weekend and you know you just keep adding stuff into your car and then you lose all control yeah it was one of them so So here's the little box that it comes in and I've got three in this one probably because the other one's full. Some of them were just basics that I needed like some basic colours that I sort of ran out of that I needed to restock. So there's just a white there, it's just white that's boring um, and I think this one is the Paris Liquid Builder Gel. So I've actually only recently started using the Builder Gel from Premier Gel but it is amazing i love it i hadn't ventured out to build a gel just yet well up until a couple of months ago and i've nearly used that bottle so i needed to stock up i always like having just like a a sort of pinky builder gel because i think they look so nice when it's on really natural and they just look lovely so i did get a uh, one in the color paris and a clear one as well because obviously with builder gel you can either leave it at the the colour that the Builder Gel comes in or it, you can apply gel over the top of it. So I just thought I'd get one of, the, one of each of those. So then this one is in the shade Orchid. Now this is a purple sparkly one. I'm going to be swatching all of these for you. All of the interesting colours. I won't sw swatch the boring ones. Now this next one. So I think I ordered around about maybe 15. Um, like I say, some of them are basics that I needed. Some of them were some colours to add to my collection. So this one is going to be, yeah, that's just the clear liquid builder gel. If you guys need a video on how to apply builder gel, then just let me know in the comments and I'll do a video showing you how to apply it. I got the colour navy um, because I don't have one in my colours. I find myself always going for colours that I like and then I need to remember that I need to get other colours too. <laughs> so navy was one that I needed to add to my list. I got Gucci which is like a pink glittery one. 
oh this one looks so so nice i can't wait to swatch this one it's called night sky it's like a black glittery one this one's shade dusk just a black one i needed my uh, basics this was raspberry bonbon now i love like the pastel -y sort of colors i can't wait for it to be summer so i can have pastels again <laughs> because i did miss those coming out of summer i was obsessed now i got a blue glittery one as well this is called seahorse i felt like i needed to add more glitters into my collection because i didn't have many glitters i have more colors um this one is another pink glitter it's festival three more to go oh another pink glitter cool um rolex this one is plum sparkle which is like a darker purpley sort of color and the last one is merlot which was sort of like a dark red i find this one of my most popular colors and i knew i was running low on another one that i had so i needed to buy a another one so that's all of them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start swatching these for you just so you can see the colors as they would look on nails so let's get into it yeah so you know what i was saying before about you buying the same color let's move on so the first one i'm going to swatch is raspberry bonbon and this was the sort of pastely color i was telling you about the next i'm going to do is dusk this is such a nice shade of pink i feel like i have about 500 shades of pink but it's okay we'll get over it Again, that is so, so pigmented considering that's just one coat. The next one I'm gonna do is Plum Sparkle. I feel like I don't have a red like this. I have like some bright reds and some really chunky glittery reds. But this is a really nice one to add to my collection because I don't have any sort of shimmery ones so that's really nice the next one i'm gonna do is rolex one of my four pink glitters <laughs> oh dear i'm hoping they're gonna look a bit different okay so this is definitely gonna be one that we need to build up with layers I'm obsessed with it. So there's the first layer, but I will pop some more on and show you what it looks like. So there is Rolex with around about four coats on. You do need quite a few coats to build it up, but it is worth it. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? So next I'm gonna go in with Seahorse, which is the blue sparkly one. I'm literally just obsessed with pink and blue at the moment. So this is going to be like the Rolex one. So you will need a few coats just to build that up, but I'll go in and put some more coats on and show you what it looks like. So there is Seahorse with probably around the same, about four coats just to build the colour up beautiful the next one i'm going to swatch is night sky how lush is that Next, I'm going to swatch Festival, which another is another of my pink glitters. <laughs> oh 
get that one under the lamp. And this is the final look for festival. So the next one I'm going to swatch is Gucci, another pink glitter. I feel like all the glitters I've got are exactly the same, but we'll just roll with it. <laughs> this one actually looks a bit finer. Yeah, that's like a finer glitter, that one. Don't think that'll need as many coats. I feel like this is one of my favourites. It is the final look for Gucci. This is sort of like a finer pink glitter. This next one is navy. I feel like that looks really light now, but I think it will soon darken up once you get those layers on there. This next one is Orchid. So this is another sort of glittery one, but it's more purpley rather than pink like the others. So here is the final look for Orchid. Next one is Merlot. Again, they're so pigmented. It's literally just one coat. So here is the finished look for Merlot. It is such a beautiful colour. And the last one is the one from Kiki. And this is just in colour rose gold. This is another finer one actually. I'll build those coats up and show you what it looks like. And here's the final look for the Kiki London Rose Gold. It's actually nothing like the other glitters. It's so nice. The shine on it is beautiful. So there they are, all swatched. Obviously, I have got my other bottles that I'm not going to swatch, um, which was just a black and a white that I needed to top up on. And also my clear and sort of like a pinky, this is Paris, um, liquid, liquid builder gel. So there's the colour of it. Just really natural, it's lovely. Another thing I just wanted to show you up close as well was the cuticle oil. So this is the box, it's in Sweet Peach. It's such a nice bottle. It's pink, which is my fave colour, as you can probably tell. Um, it's a big bottle. It will last me for ages. And I really wish you guys could smell this because it's beautiful. Um, so, yeah. So, there you go, guys. I hope you loved this unboxing video. I love videos like this on YouTube. So, I thought I'd make one, show you what I ordered. I'm sure I'll be ordering plenty more in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on my other socials. It's at the nail room by G on Instagram and TikTok and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.